It'll be okay. Well, we need to get out of here and quick. Yeah. Come on. I don't know if your homeowner's insurance is going to cover that. Um, Marston, you hear me? The time has come, my fellow gamers. After eight years, the excellent Red Dead Redemption finally has a sequel, and it has to be Rockstar's most ambitious game to date. And it's a prequel. But that's not always a bad thing. That's quite a scratch you got there. Hold it, that's how John got the scratches on his face? He fell on some rocks? Well, that, that kind of takes a little of the shine off the apple. Or... I have to say, right at the start, that Red Dead Redemption 2 is interactive art in almost every way imaginable. It's like playing a really long movie with a rich story and vibrant characters. Let's go. I, I'm, I'm listening. I just, I want to, I just, I can crunch the snow. Oh, maybe I can make a snow angel with my horse. I can make a horse angel. And that's hey, sort we got of this covered, Arthur. Well, Go yeah, yeah. No, I I got this under control. Don't worry about it. Yeah, looking good. This has got to be the most yeah. fully actualized game world Rockstar has ever made. The landscape unfolds in wonderful ways, from snow-covered mountains to burned-out forests. It's towns, it's swamps, it's short line. <sighs> What was I saying? Fully realized world, yes. Rockstar is infamous for their obsession to detail, and it is so obvious here. In this one fight scene, you can see the intricacies of the NPC's clothing, the rich design of every building in town, the dynamic footprints and wagon treads pressed into the mud, but there is so much more. Step into a store and check out each can on the shelf, or look through the richly period-inspired catalogs. Sit down to a game of dominoes or poker and listen to the banter of characters around you. It's all here. Be very, very quiet. Okay. No. 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 Bad bear. Bad. Bad bear. Okay. All right. So I'm probably dead now. Nope. Still in it. Okay. Oh. Ow. Nope. Still. Okay. Still not dead. Okay. Oh. Did. Go away. Go away, bear. Bad. Bad bear. Bad bear. Okay, um, gotta drink a health tonic or something. Oh, right, my hat. All right, all better. It should go without saying, too, that, I mean, the graphics are just gorgeous. The, the overall art direction, what did I just hit? I think I hit something. I hit a bird? How do you run over a bird with a horse? Uh, all right. Apparently it was a Eurasian tree sparrow, for those who are keeping track. Anyway, yeah, the graphics look great. Uh, also, the voice acting is tremendous. I mean, just the entire cast all around, from uh, Arthur right on down. Uh, they just do a wonderful job. Did she just stab him in the neck? Okay, you know what? Oh, would you pl Okay, okay, lady. Lady. All right. I do not feel bad about turning you into the cops now. You manhandle me. You just stabbed a guy. It's a long story and not an interesting one. Okay, then why but am I, I still am reading here this? For now. And the sound design is top notch. We cannot deny that. Just the sound, the music, the voice. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh. This would be so much easier if I didn't have to use a bow, but. See, the thing is, is that you need pristine pelts in order to, like, make stuff in the game, and you can't do that unless you. Okay, I'm gonna just try to do this not on for- okay. No, this does- um... Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. I am never gonna craft an upgrade for my belt. <laughs> oh, now you're just showing off. There is so much that populates this world. Treasure hunting leads you to hidden corners of the map. Strangers impose upon you for help as you wander. Gang hideouts beg to be raided. Ambient challenges for hunting, fishing, sharpshooting, etc. And that's not even addressing the number of cliffs I can fall off of and injure myself. But, okay, what was I saying? Right, and that's not even addressing the numerous side quests that are truly engaging, full of character development, and add to the overall story. Oh, finally, I might be able to get a pelt. I can't while I'm responsible for Jack. Jack, you screws things up in this game too. Great. Hey, How were you a playable this. character in the, the first game? I, mean. I just. Necklace. For Mama. 
Grandma. Uh, sure. Yeah, it's great. What a fine young man. Oh, not these and two such again. Complex circumstances. Agent Milton. Yeah. Agent Ross. Yeah. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United just, States. Just uh government. just a heads like up, you might want to look out for that kid. We know a lot about you. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. Like the original, Red Dead Redemption 2 manages to create a great Western narrative while also challenging many of its conventions. I mean, you follow a group of outlaws who feel like they are a dying breed raging against the encroachment of civilization. And while there is a morality bar, make no mistake that your job is to rob trains and banks and stagecoaches and pretty much everyone else in between shootouts with the law. Morality is an ambiguous term in this game. And the level of customization for your clothes, your horse, your guns, and facial hair is suitably impressive, I must say. And... Uh, well, I found a dinosaur bone, so I guess that was worth it. And yet, for all the praise I can bestow upon this game, the big problem with Red Dead Redemption 2 is the gameplay. For instance, aiming and shooting. On my Xbox, the left trigger lets you focus on a character, but it also lets you aim a gun, if you have a gun in hand. But even if you've holstered your gun, Arthur may still be holding his gun, so you'll probably point your gun at a few people you just wanted to greet. Then a crime is reported and you get a bounty. They also use a cover system, but telling if you are actually in cover is the real question. Also, I know I said gun like 500 times in a row in that last segment, I, re I really don't know why, but the point is valid. Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. I'm good at shooting. Oh, shit. oh maybe not. Okay, let's try that again. Come on, do it! Yep, okay, just give me a second, give me a second. Uh, okay, let me try that one more time. Hey, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, You're welcome. Yeah. Hey, what the hell? Get away from me! What? 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 I just... For some reason, Rockstar makes some, I'll say, interesting choices when it comes to interacting with the game. Commands ask you to hold buttons rather than just press them, a time filler the game did not need. And while we're on unnecessary time fillers, I don't need an animation sequence for everything I pick up or loot. And asking players to open every individual drawer in a house may be realistic and display that obsessive detail I was talking about earlier, but it also slows the game down considerably. Searching a homestead takes 10 minutes when it could have taken three. The fast travel system is limited at best, and even your riding speed is paced, because realism. You walk and even run relatively slow as well, which means travel is a time sink. There are also mechanics that just feel overly complicated, like wearing the correct clothing so you're not too hot or cold. Also, your stamina, health, and deadeye have both a core and a meter. I'm still confused as to what each one does, or why they couldn't be combined into one thing. This is going to turn into a drinking game pretty soon. And then there are things that just make you want to throw a controller at a wall. Like having to re-equip my guns because they've been stored on my horse. Come on, Rockstar, just let me keep my preferred loadout equipped on my character. I kept getting into gunfights only to realize my rifles were still on my horse, which is the worst time to come to such a realization. Because of my recent crimes, I can't catch an outlaw. <laughs> Oh, right? Sure, why not? All of these nitpicks may seem like I've become complain-o-bot, but they add up to a point that took me out of the immersive game I was given. And that's the biggest disappointment for me. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a living, breathing work of art that kept me at a distance by overcomplicating the simple things. The obsession to detail is beautiful to behold, but the complexity hinders your ability to enter a flow state. Basically, it's the same problem I had with Kingdom Come Deliverance, another ambitious open-world game that wanted to be extremely accurate. Oh, maybe that's why I was thinking of Kingdom Come Deliverance. But I think Rockstar was primarily focused on building a beautiful game world, and I say that because of the cinematic camera. When you are traversing those long expanses on horseback, 
you can throw the game into sort of an auto run, auto canter, sure, where the visuals go to widescreen and the camera sweeps across the landscape like a true Western experience. This requires little input from the player and allows you to simply look at the gorgeous scenery and listen to the majestic sound design. This is great, but notice how the game feels its best when the player has the least agency. So yes, Red Dead Redemption 2 is art by all accounts and a true testament to why Rockstar is so renowned in the industry. But can you play art? Well, it takes more effort, but you can. And having said that, I have to get back to falling off horses. I just... Every time. Oh, also, for the record, the reason I used this long sheep herding sequence at the end is to prove that John Marston absolutely knew how to herd animals at the start of Red Dead Redemption. I got you, John. I got you. You wasted poor Bonnie McFarlane's time by making her think she was teaching you a new skill. You already knew how to do it. Why, John? Hashtag herdgate. Give it a rest, will you? Well, we ain't kids no more. I. Never really was. I still love you, John. And I suppose with that, we ride off into the sunset to greener pastures and... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh! Just so many times! Oh crap, not you guys. You show up everywhere. <laughs> Karma. No. Just leave me be. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Hey, you know, I need to sight this carbine in. Yeah, works. Good. That might come in handy later. Oh no, they multiplied. Alright. Well, I got the gun sighted in. There might be too many of them for me to hit with dead aim. I don't actually know if I would... Yeah, Arthur, I feel ya. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh-oh! That... He... That that didn't work out so well. Yeah. Yeah, boy, Karma is working overtime today. Sure. Yeah, whatever, dude. Kobe! Alright. Well... You knew that was coming, right? Like, that's not a surprise. God damn hooded rodents. <laughs> I'll kill all you bastards. Good for you, Arthur.